Alrighty, uh, this is how to edit a Toasty Bros video featuring editor. That was dumb, but here we are. So this is how I edit a Toasty Bros video. So the first thing I've got to do is find out what video we're doing. So I'll look at a little list we have of our upcoming videos and I look like I'm doing the portable thousand dollar laptop setup. So let's see, portable thousand dollar laptop. How many typos can I fit in one thing? Uh, cool. So I'll call it that. That'll make it really easy for when I eventually mess up and can't find it. Uh, the only thing not on screen that you can't see is my, I'm gonna make sure there's nothing on there that's important. Uh, essentially is my finder window and uh, a little preview clips window. I also have another preview clips window I put on the right. Uh, but essentially I will go through and the first thing I'll do is open up the file that will have all of our video footage. If the sound sounds like I'm looking left and right because I have three monitors and my left one's going to be my uh, index. So let's see here, raw files and I've got $1,000 dual monitor laptop set up. So in here there's about here, I'm going to drag this over. So in here, this is what our file looks like. It's going to have lower thirds made by Zach. Uh, <laughs> he names them so well. Uh, this is going to be our thumbnail, and these are all the file clips. This is, you know, who we're doing ad spots for or whatnot. So I drag from here over. Typically, the top three are going to be our actual intro and whatnot. So I'll usually drag those in. And after that, it's typically going to be different stuff so what we're searching for is the the main role so okay. this looks to be b-roll so we skip from that actually has them to tune it. yep Slides. so they're just kind of talking in that one they're doing something else so we're going to switch over to here this laptop backpacks yeah. roll this but this is like just talking. the ultimate dude this is this is a sleeper we gotta we gotta hide it and be like here we go all right <clears throat> So a thousand bucks. A thousand dollar dual monitor portable laptop setup, right. whatever you want to say. Go crazy. Three, two, one. So I know that's our A roll now. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is we're going to have two tracks. This full track is going to be our, our main, you know, where their voice is going to come from and whatnot. And you'll notice for a Toasty Bros video, uh, if you are listening to this with headphones, you'll hear all of. Let's see. One of those laptop backpacks yeah. rolled this. Yeah, all of Jackson's audio is going to come out of your right headphone, and then all of Matt's out of your left. They record, record through one thing, so it goes through left channel, right channel, and I'll fix that later. But for now, you're going to have to enjoy some ASMR with me. Um, yeah, sorry for that. So then we're going to search through for the next clip. The boss just called uh, Matt at a local Starbucks right now, so got to get some work done, maybe do some gaming on the side. Okay, so the one thing is they don't write out, like, what's going on like this was the last clip and then he goes straight to this these may have been shot out of order it's usually something i can look to the right and ask matt or jackson what's what are they thinking and sometimes they'll write me notes and right now i'll see videos ready streaming tests blah blah so they they shot it but they did not give me notes on why they've done this so this will be a little bit of a, a problem we'll find out why that was shot we'll continue along though and what's cool is the actual cover carrying case cover. What's cool is the actual carrying case for this monitor also acts as a stand as well. Okay, so it looks like he just decided to throw like a story element in the middle. I don't know why, but we'll roll with it. So we just go ahead and drag this in our timeline. We'll start zooming out and getting the rest ready. And we'll just drag the next one in because I'm assuming this story. Okay, so this must be B-roll. That's too short to be a normal. And what's cool. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, so right now all I'm going to do is just sort through what's needed and what's not needed. Awesome. So what we have is the basic setup. All we're missing now is the ending, which is typically the last recorded clip they have. So that in this case, it's going to be 64. Yep, that looks like an outro from them. Uh, they decided to bag it up for the outro. Cool beans. Um, 
We'll look for who our ad spot is. Apparently today it's team group, so I'll go ahead and take them out and put them over here. They have a webcam streaming test I'll want to put in here. Uh, I'll probably forget that until later, so we'll see. But our ad spot will go typically over here. So we'll actually get it up there for now. So the first thing we do is we trim down everything that didn't need to be said. So right now we have a 25 minute video. The way I typically, uh, the way that I'll typically go through here and edit is I'll look at this audio and I can tell you they're not going to talk until somewhere around here because I can see the audio bounce back and forth, which is the classic, you know, hi, I'm Toasty Rose here, blah, 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 and then they'll take off on their topic. So this is likely them saying three, two, one over here. Let's see. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, guys? Jack and with the Rose. This is new. So I'll take this and I'll hit with my keybinds Q, which will shuttle everything to the left. Leave hey, how's it going, it. guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're going to be doing a $1,000 complete laptop setup. And this is it. Literally, not, everything is in here, and it comes with a second screen, so you have dual monitors on the go. But before we unbox this full setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Cool. Today's sponsor. So we cut. Make sure we get that right. Sponsor. Cool. I actually ended a little bit earlier than I thought. So I do this, and I'm going to shuffle everything to the right. I could probably hit two and scale, but uh, I say two. That's my scale to fill kind of button I've set up. Team group. Cool. So what I'll do is apply a crossfade to this, crossfade to this, and then a crossfade to this. That's going to give us the nice it has a fade in effect we get at the beginning of every video. Then this should have balanced audio, so no more ASMR. Brought to you by Team Group. Team Group delivers some of the best value for money PC parts out there. Awesome. I just want to make sure the audio is not messed up. I'll push everything back together. Uh, I use a lot of shortcuts. I have about, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five by four areas. So I have about 20 keys I use, and I can kind of explain what those are. My Q is going to press everything to the left, so you saw if I delete. For instance, I want to delete everything to the left of here, I'll hit Q, and that just takes me straight to that point. Uh, w does the same thing for forward. Uh, my E buttons can exchange the rate. So that's if I want to do a, a speedy, like, time-lapse sort of section. Um, X for me saves because I found that I just have problems with things crashing. So that F for me deletes. Um, R is the rate tool if I want to get finicky about it. Uh, a and, and D, yeah, you'll see me use a lot. Up. Or you probably won't see, but you'll oh, see that it's being used, which is my ability to play the clips at double speed or reverse. I use it a lot for finicky details or to watch a double speed so I don't have to watch 25 minutes worth of content. I only have to watch around, you know, 13 and a half minutes. Because uh, usually they talk loud enough I can tell even at double speed what they're doing. And in extreme cases I can listen at, you know, triple speed. Uh, other than that, yeah, the, between the razor tool and the normal tool are, are my C and V. And then Z is going to unlink audio so that I can fix the whole left and right ear thing. That all being said, let's get back to just cutting this up. If nothing important happens, then I'll just probably keep in the first minute of this. So let's go. So it's perfect. Okay. You just mentioned before we end up like, okay, so this is a portal laptop set up features a laptop and then. Cool. So they're just discussing what's going to happen next. Yes, you heard us right. For $1,000, yep, this is completely portable. Everything that we have so set up. It looks, this laptop bag. their so audio looks pretty. pretty you know, webcam tech, media, actual laptop. It has gaming performance packed in. You have your charger, you even have a mouse. It looks pretty so obvious. What we're, do, what we're, do. we're going to open it up, set everything up on our desk, and then run it through its cases and some gaming. Russian very impressive. Russian very excited to see some of the benchmarks of this laptop. It's a really good value right now. So he had a mess up there. You can see, even if you look at it, it looks almost the same. We had a blah, 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 blah. We had a blah, blah, blah. So we'll listen. Through its paces and some gaming. We're actually very impressed to see. We're actually very excited. So what we'll do is we'll cut out the first attempt as best we can. We'll match it up. We'll take our playhead back. Uh, Q will push that together. So here's what it's going to look like. And some gaming. We're actually very excited to see some of the benchmarks. It's a pretty hard cut. I'd like to try to make it a little softer, but sometimes with how they do it, they don't give me a lot of space. Uh, they just kind of keep rolling, which is more efficient for them. So we end up with something a little bit. Paces and some gaming. We're actually very excited to see some of the benchmarks of this better. laptop. It's a really good value right now on the market. So how about we not waste any more time and uh, set this setup up? All right, let's see. Right now. There's a hiccup. All right. So here's the decision. Uh, set this setup up right now. There's a hiccup. Do we want comedically to leave this little bit in right here where he says you know that was a hiccup and all that or do i want to just go ahead and say right now and then boop, 
cut, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And make sure they don't say anything over here. No, that's them walking off camera. So unless they, I hear my name, I'll usually cut out those bits because sometimes they'll ask me for something after a clip ends. But the boss just called. Uh, I'm at a local Starbucks right now. So now the context for this makes up. All right, because initially I didn't know what this bit was for. Now it starts to make sense as we edit the video. But we have all this dead room in the beginning, so we're going to go ahead and cut it. The boss just called. Uh, now we want to decide we want to keep that little breath in. No. The boss just called. Uh, I'm at a local Starbucks right now, so got to get some work done. Maybe do some gaming on the side. So we'll Gamer. go ahead and uh, connect to Starbucks Wi-Fi once we get our old laptop out. But the first thing we have here is the. I don't even so. This is about to be a kind of a product introduction is what it looks like. So I'll have a lot of lower thirds ready from Zach. So right now he's got one called Mousy. So I'm assuming this is going to be the mouse intro. So I'll hit Z to unlink the audio and delete it. And that way this will pop up on screen. You see this is the beginning of the animation for the lower third. You'll notice it pops in the middle. See, I could come all the way over here and change, you know, scale to fit and all that. But instead I just hit S and it does it for me. Uh, key binds make this job so much easier. So you'll see me use a lot of them. I don't even remember what this is. G305. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So he'll forget a lot of this stuff. They have a ton of stuff to remember, so I don't blame them. I don't know what half these parts are. So it's a fair trade. First thing we have here is the... the We see the lowest the audio gets right here. So this we're going to take our clip. Boop. And he says the... I like the lower third to start just before he says the name. So he says the... He pauses, and then he's likely going to say the clip name right here. The first the, thing we have here is the logic. Okay, so he restarted. First thing we have. So we want to take it from. The first. Here. To here. Because he started back over from the first instead of just going to the name. Out, but the first thing we have here is the Logitech G3. The first thing we have here is the Logitech G305. This is a wireless gaming mouse, but you can use it for everything. It does have two macros inside. You can guys switch a nice textured scroll wheel, and it's wireless. You get really good charge times on this as well. The battery lasts like forever on these, so it's really awesome. One thing. Um, okay, cool. This happens a lot. Uh, they have so many products, so sometimes they see maybe a sponsored product or something we noticed about it on Amazon, and we'll go through. They'll kind of do an ad lib. What is the product, and then. One or the other will say, hey, don't forget, because they'll have their phone up and with notes over the video. So we'll see here. Really awesome. What note does he One have thing, for um, Try to plug the merch since you're wearing it. Yeah, yeah there we go. So this means for me, i got to probably be ready with a merch oh, thing, but we'll see. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So you can find yeah. a, another clean segue. I'll do it after yeah. um, I talk about everything. All right. Yeah, raw, uncut right there. That's the merch plug. We think about that it. Is the, the cables, cables for the monitor. Okay, we'll go back to that then. Here, I thought it's going to take more about a mouse. Yeah. So of course. So this is where he starts back up again. So, so it's that little rising. So we have the bag rustling. We'll start right here. We'll delete the rest of that. Oh, delete too far. Let's see where I got. That's really awesome. But the first thing we have here is the Logitech G three hundred five. This is a wireless. So that's really awesome. And then I hear one thing. Um, one thing. Cool. So yeah, this is it. Really awesome. So of course, with their so now I want that Logitech thing to go away. So clip it, hit five, and that sets it for a wipe. It will add a wipe to the beginning, but I've come to find out that the first thing we have that wipe so short it doesn't really make sense. So I have to get rid of it. It's kind of annoying, but I don't know how to set a wipe at the end because I have. Four little transition buttons, four, five, and six. We'll do my cross fade, my wipe, and my uh, cross dissolve, which are all fade in and fade outs so that I don't have to go through and manually add one every time. Now, this one always goes to the right, you'll notice. I think it'd be cleaner if it goes to the left, so sometimes I'll come through and I'll set it for uh, fade the this direction. It's really awesome. So I think it's a little bit cleaner since it's going towards the outside of the frame, but you can see sometimes if you watch other videos, I might be a little lazy and not do a dissolve that way. So of course with wipe. every good laptop you have a good charger. So you know we gotta have that so that the laptop can stay alive and put on the ground. So okay. I'm looking through the parts list right now to make sure that you know since he mentioned it, is that charger unique to the laptop? It's it, it's gonna be the normal charger for it. So I don't have a lower third for it. So we continue playing. If we're gonna need to plug it in, we have our nice portable which is now very folded up and he does have one for the mouse pad. So let me bring it over here. 
Z, F. A little bit crazy, but hey, it is a mouse pad. It is a mouse pad. pad and it's going to work. You really don't even have to have this. I mean, technically, if you're on a good enough table, you'd be good to go with just you know the table surface. But we're trying to be gamers here, and we're going to have you a monitor, so we want the best tracking possible. Anything else in here? Yeah, and Zach makes all these lower right, thirds, but I didn't already state that. He makes all these for us, and all I have to do is ask him if he has them ready, and typically he's done them way before I'm even on the video, which is awesome. So along with the monitor... Anything else in Something here? zaddy for that. No? Okay. Okay, this is where I'm talking. Here, and we're going to be having dual monitors, so we want the best tracking possible. Cool, I'm guessing that's the end of what he was saying. Best tracking possible, end. Anything else in here? So no? This okay. is for clip. White. Right, I was going to pull these out. Delete this side, clip here, click there. So along with the monitor we were telling you guys about... something else. Oh, you look 144 confused. hertz screen. Oh, okay, I need to talk about that. And right. then um, uh, actual gaming test. Let's... So overall, really impressed with the lab. I actually have an RGB keyboard, which really surprised me for the price. So I'm going to oh, take that. I'm probably, I bet he'll do another wrap up, so we'll get rid of it. And to top everything off, they actually surprised us. We did not even know, oh, it's over here, 144 hertz screen. So that's mistake I leave in. That was so close, and that really the gap between it, it's human personality. It's not anything crazy. It wasn't like an edit worthy event because watch, he'll go straight from it. I could make something meme and like zoom in the wrong way and then retract it, but I do that for my second pass. Right now, I'll leave. He it actually surprised us. We did not even know oh, it's over here. 144 hertz screen. I was very surprised. We honestly did not even see that. 15.6 inch 1080p, 144 hertz. You cannot beat that. And it, I think we're really going to get 144 FPS if you think so, Matt. I think so. Matt thinks so, Matt thinks so. Thinks so. Matt thinks so. And honestly, just like 144 FPS, this shirt can run at 240 <laughs> FPS hertz. Now, that's, that's an intro. Batman knows what he's doing. So we'll go ahead and grab our little thing. You know, whatever. But anyways, go check out our merch down in the description down below because we are having some new designs come out. Hurts. You know, whatever. But anyways, go check out our merch down in the description down below because we are having some new designs come out. And if you want to get some really awesome merch, we'd really appreciate it. it was uh, not smooth, but it's there. It works. We'd really appreciate it. So all I'm doing right now is just cutting this to fit so it actually goes in and out the right time because Zach made the transitions and I don't I last really time I had awesome to redo it. Really appreciate it. It was uh, not smooth, but it's there. It works. <laughs> so I would just say, okay, so let's just right. test it and some, get this fully set up and then test some games. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get this thing fully set up and let's test it in some games. So this, I'll usually scale this a little bit because it's a very, oh, they got that second display on, so I don't know if they want me to. Okay. We'll leave it for now. Talking hello. Hello. This is one of the times where I err on the side of what I think is right, and then they'll usually give me review notes and say, hey, we would like you to zoom in on the things. People can actually see the you know, the list here on the side. Hello. hello. Yep. Hey. Good. All right. Which, 
So now we're doing the benchmarking section again. Let's see. Let's get some action, boy. Let's get some action. All right, let's get some action, boy. Oh yeah, I could, I could feel it. How do I, how do I do? F, F. Oh yeah, they, he has trouble with this every time I play this game. I don't know what it is. They, they can never remember, but F, I'm pretty sure it's not the F key. E, e, e. Yeah. E. <laughs> I only, I've never played the game, but I can tell you from watching them benchmark Doom Eternal, they never remember that E is the key for this. I might start just yelling whenever I see them playing the game now. Someone caught me watching Mr. Beast in the last video. Listen, when I have to render videos, uh, we only have one computer for rendering, which is mine. Or not one, but I'm the one currently rendering with a Matt return. I, yeah, Matt did walk in. Because Cutting some Matt audio is quality, quality time. time. Yeah, I'm only over 60 FPS on this setup. I mean, I'd be pretty happy with that. Um, we're going to definitely a harder game to run than most. We're going to run through and uh, try to use some content. Okay, so he says we're going to try to run through, and that means typically he's probably not going to talk until he gets to like a fight. I try to get some content. Yeah. All right, you know what? We get wins in the gulag. That's all you need, right? <laughs> gulag wins. There we go. Way to go, Matt. That's I all hope you need, right, guys? Gulag. Let's see how long this clip is. It looks like he wins the right. gulag. Right, guys? That's all we need, right, guys? Right, guys. We'll end there. I know he has the other one, but don't take too much time in there. We'll skip to him in the gulag. Uh, let's see, he does not win the gulag. Does he? Will he win the gulag? Oh wow, he does. Surprise. Is your mic on, by the way? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm being extremely quiet here. All right, here we go. We're... All right, here we go. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> that was very disappointing, but hey, I got a kill. We get to go back in for a minute and die. I was at the headshot, didn't kill. Die. And die. Yeah, we'll leave it at, and die. And then we'll go over here. It looks like he's gonna land and die again. So we'll cut to this. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, so the last words are land and die, and then we get to follow that up with. <laughs> I tried. I just had to try it, guys. Okay, you see Warzone runs on it. It works. Had to do what I had to do. Uh, yeah, I'll switch to another game that you all just love. Is it a good sign for me getting a kill? I don't know. You must thirst for blood. Must thirst for blood. Now would be a good time to cut to him getting a kill. I want that to look like he headshot the guy one time because that's kind of cool. Yeah, so we'll get that to him. Oh, I got him. Is it actually a bot? That's not a bot. Oh, let's go. Oh, I actually didn't have to fake it. He oh, got a sweet HP. kill right after. Gosh. I did it to him, guys. I got a kill. Oh, that's another bot. Oh, that grenade. Oh, I see this guy. Actually, I'm kind of invested in this. You could, if that bot comes beside you, you're screwed. So we'll cut from that because then it gets uneventful. But I liked his headshot follow-up. We'll see how he dies. Is he talking about the game or just talking? Stay away from me, bot. Oh god, no more. Yeah, so that's not anything important. We'll come back to here. What? Yeah, there's a few moments before he dies. What the hell? <laughs> okay, Wait, I, just, he... I just got shotgunned. It seems like um, very poorly. <laughs> I have, okay, sure, that's fine. But hey, look at that, guy. It's Fortnite. 100 plus FPS when you land it. I got a kill. That's really hard to do for me. So, how about we go ahead and actually do a... <laughs> Beginning to the intro or the ending. Outro. Cosmic Wait, what did you say about Cosmic Brownies? Brownie. Get my stuff to me to Cosmic Brownie. I don't know why I do it. <laughs> yeah, we have Cosmic Brownies like on standby here. It's kind of it's kind of bad. I have too many. For someone who works or just wants to play on the go. 
So we hope you guys So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to Alright, you're supposed to do the three channels thing, so we do that. Check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. He's off he's to work. He's going home. Off to work. <laughs> off to Cut off the very end part. And we'll just end with that. We'll cut this. Or now we'll go. I've been doing this recently, so set it to cross all at the same time. Um, off the work. And then I like the Hey, how's it going, go guys? Out. Jack and Maddie. Take me back. Take me back. I like the audio to go out. Cool, I got it. All right, now, finally time to stop the SMR. We're going to go ahead and hit Z. Hold Alt. Pull this down. And now we've doubled the audio. I used the little loop deck. This is one of the functions I like on it. It is very quick. I don't have another shortcut in order to do the audio gain. I'm sure I could set one up, but having the loop deck just makes it easier. And you're so with now, the Toaster Bros. And today we're going to be doing uh, a balanced audio. Isn't that nice? Uh, the other thing to do is color correction. So what we'll do is go here to color. If you've ever wondered what our kind of LUT is, I haven't designed my own. So instead I use Kodak B Soft um, or clean Kodak B Soft. And I use it about 50 to 30% intensity, depending on what I think it looks like for the video. So. This one will do 60, and the way I do it is copy. And if you want to, you just drag across every clip, and I paste the attributes. Make sure that I don't include anything like scale or whatever. Motion, since nothing's moved, this is fine. We hit OK. $1,000 complete. Everything has that. You don't want to include your original clip, because if I paste again, it gets super colored. Um, and I just want it to be this like nice little shading. Complete laptop setup, and this is, is it. it. Yeah, like we have a lot of blues on set, so that's why I like the blue to be kind of one of the highlight colors. <laughs> Look at that face. Believe it or not, everything is in here and it comes with a second screen, so you have dual monitors on the go. But before we unbox this full setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today. Yeah, so you can watch this. This is called the Lumetri Scope, if you'll ever wondered. Uh, anything past here, it just becomes white, and even past here, it just becomes black kind of deal. So you want to have a nice range. I'm not the best in the world at this sort of thing. But this gives you an idea. It's just what colors it's predicting and seeing across the thing. So the wider your range, that's the wider your range of color. And so I try to make sure we have something a little bit different. Now, the next thing to do is find music. So what I'll typically do is I'll go to a little thing and I'll look up like lo-fi music. And it's all, we pay for a little subscription to a service. So what I'll do is I'll start playing the video while listening to that music until I find one I like. So let me turn down. We got a few ones. So this one's called Feel It All Around. I kind of like that sound. Be memory coming in at speeds of up to 3600 megahertz and capacities oh, already, up to yeah, 60. That's fine. Sometimes it's really easy. Download all full mix. I drag it into our file. I do this because let's say I couldn't export it. This way he can do it around another time. So then I hit G minus 32. We'll typically drop it in the range I need it to be. For background music. Hey, how's it going, guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna be doing a thousand dollar complete laptop setup. And this is, is it. it. Not. Everything is in here, and it comes with a second screen, so you have dual monitors on the go. But before we unbox, cool. It's not loud enough, so we'll go ahead and give it a plus three. Let's see, it's this full setup. That's a little too loud. Let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Team Group. Team Group delivers some cool beans. Well, thanks again to Team Group for. So hit six, so that'll go in and out. Let's go ahead and alt drag this over till we have it fully taken up. Now it's time for B-roll. So we'll go through here and look for sections where you want to add Top it. Widget. What was this all about? So here, you can overhear a conversation. I'm gonna tell them I'm recording, but you can kind of overhear this to see. Does it make sure this RAM works too? What's going on here? Did you hear me? That's the RAM upgrade section. Cool. So, did you all talk about it? Because I don't, I don't. If you want to talk loud enough, I said this is where. I, uh, yeah, I think in the one point we mentioned that we had to upgrade the RAM at the beginning. We added an extra stick of memory in. If you just want to show like a quick snippet of us doing that. Cool beans. So I'll check for that. I don't remember. I wasn't really listening in the beginning. So we'll see. Thank you. Well, yeah, that's where the I listen at double speed. So no. Hey, how's it going, guys? Jack and Matt here with me. the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna be doing a thousand dollar. So they would do it after this, they would say. So, well, we'll That's we'll right, for a thing, which is really awesome, we have a 1650, we have 16 gigs at 3,000 megahertz because this originally comes with eight. Oh, there we go. We found it, boys, we found it. It doesn't want to drag the clip in, so we'll copy it in. 
remove the audio of it because this is B-roll. So B-roll is anything that's not. So these are lower thirds because they cover the lower, you know, third of the screen. This is B-roll because uh, you're it covers up your A-roll. So it's just like flavor text kind of deal. So if you play any sort of game that's flavor text, you know what I'm talking about. Which is really awesome. We have so I'd like to get this little lapse of him taking out some screws. So I'll get from about here to here. I'll cut this part. So now I have a little bit. And this is where I'll go in and say like 400 times speed. Should get me pretty quick. And I might, if it takes too long, go ahead and do this. Because I want it to be done pretty quickly. Come on, baby. There we are. Let's get this back over here. So it's including the button. So I let this go on a little bit past so that he talks and it covers up the cut between these two. So it sounds like you might believe that he was also still a five hundred and twelve. So we also have a 512 gig NVMe SSD and you can act as opposed to seeing this maximum performance. We also have a so that covers that cut by sending the B-roll just a little bit longer. Maximum performance. We also have a 512 gig NVMe SSD and you can actually solid. upgrade this. All right, cool. So that's good. We're going to take a little bit more of this B-roll and clip it on the end for our kind of ending. That lighting on that one was weird. I don't know if you all saw that. And then I still should have I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it on top of that to give it the lumetri. So now it's color graded, cool, cool. And did I do B-roll back here that I did the same thing on? Uh, so I'm gonna paste it over these. Boop, boop. So you'll notice purple means it's color graded, green means it's, it's color graded and time-lapsed. So if I ever see that, you can kind of know why it does it. It means there's more than one effect on it. This the is bag. a Tagear bag. We only Cool. Um, very end. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know how this got so red. If you all look at it, it's super red. It looks kind of cool. Very like bourbon commercially, like very fiery red. But we turned on the opacity on this anyway, so it's not gonna make a big difference. I'm just kind of surprised on why it's so red. He might have shot it with the old camera, but that didn't make sense to me because the next shot right between before and after are fine. The white balance might have been thrown off as well if he turned on and off the camera. I could theorize all day, but it doesn't really matter. We're just looking for a... <laughs> That's the one we'll use then. We'll cut off the audio here. And then I'll drop this to 50% opacity before it comes up. We want this to fade in, that to fade out. And let's see how long this lasts. So from 3012 to 3028, we want it to go a little bit longer. So. I'll, I'll keep that one in there. We'll just add one more. You have another? Yeah, we'll just use that one. Because we got that, that, and then this should work. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, this is the one thing I really need a shortcut for. I know there's some videos up there about like how to use Auto Hockey and Premiere, but I Auto Hockey just seems like a whole thing to get started on. So we're gonna make sure this plays out. Ooh, pretty. So that could use the cut. This once again, Jackson's sort of thing. Matt films it, Jackson wants it a certain way. So we do it that way. Very easy piece. Oh, boy. So the one thing I do like to do is res there, like ending their whole thing. We'll bring this audio up, the pen tool. He's going home. Off the work. The audio always sounds so stupid to that. I'm just going to save it for now and move on with my work for the day. But thank you all for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to keep behind the comments. I'll probably respond from my own account, not the Toasty Bros one. But I'd be happy to answer any questions for anyone that's looking at making videos. I'm still learning every day with this stuff. Uh, but I have suggestions and things that I think are really, you know, time savers. And if you need any questions answered, yeah, just let me know. All right. Callister out.